Hello, I'd like to demonstrate you how does our energy supply work. What happens if you switch on multiple energy consumers? What will happen to the voltage? And what will happen to the current supplied by our energy plant? To show you this, I'm using three different kind of machines. I have two water cookers over there and I have a radiant heater over there. I'm also using an ampere meter, an air meter over here and a voltage meter over there. So what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm going to switch on the machines and then we'll watch the amperes and we'll watch the voltage. Just see what happens. Let's first switch on the radiant heater over there. I'm switching it on right now and see what happens to those two. At first the current is zero and when I switch it on the current goes up. The voltage over here is staying about the same. Did not go down that very much. So now I'm gonna switch on the water cookers one by one. Let's see what happens. That's one water cooker. As you could see the voltage went down a little bit and as you could see the current went up quite a lot. Now I'm switching on the last water cooker over there. And again you see the current going up and the voltage is staying about the same. I said about because you could see the voltage dropping a little bit. So what happened actually? When you're using more energy in the house the current goes up and the voltage stays about the same. And why is that? Actually every machine in your house is designed to work on a specific voltage. Here in the Netherlands that's about 230 volts. And you can see that on the machines. They have a label on it and you can check it out. It's all showing 230 volts. So if you would if the voltage would go much lower than 230 volts, those machines would not work properly. Your light would not work properly, uh, your laundry machine would not work properly, your water cookers would not work properly and so on. So we need this 230 volts and whenever we're using more energy, the power plant will just make sure we get more current. That's what's happening. So now maybe you want to know why did the voltage drop a little bit. You could see the drop clearly, it went down a little bit. If you're interested I'm going to show you the calculations, but it's not really that important. Thank you very much for watching.